What's up everybody, welcome to the Academy of Aperture. My name is Keith, today's video we're going to be looking at how to replace this. This is a broken hot shoe on a Godox V1 Speedlight. This particular one is a Sony one, but it works on all brands of cameras. So let's get into it. So there was a bit of an unfortunate situation and what happened was, if you can see there, the hot shoe actually snapped off the camera. So the flash came off the camera, hot shoe was knackered. So what we've had to do is buy a new one and today we're going to fit this. So this is actually one of the newer ones which they brought out, if I can get the uh, cover off. This is actually a metal hot shoe one rather than a plastic. So as you can see there, that is the new metal hot shoe rather than a plastic one which is going to go on the flash. So we're going to take this all apart and we're going to fit it. So let's jump into it. So we have the little uh, trusty screwdriver set. So this is one of the best things I've ever bought. So this is a little screwdriver set and it has all of the different sizes for different screwdrivers. So you have the one main screwdriver part and then you have all the fittings on that. So we're going to do that. So first things first, you have these four screws around the hot shoe adapter mount. So we need to take these off. For this one, I have a zero size screwdriver. So we're just going to pop this in and get cracking. So the other thing I have here also is a magnetic pad so that when you have the screws on it they're not going to disappear or go away. Jump into the third one here. That is the fourth one. So here we go. So this is essentially what we're left with. So we have the hot shoe adapter here and it's actually connected into the circuit board here in a little strip. So you can just pull that out and you're good to go. So that is the old one. As you can see there, it's a bit broken. And now we have the new one here. Now the good thing about these is they only fit in one way. So see that's the correct way to fit it because you have your lock-on mechanism next to the screen. But if you try to fit it the other way, as you can see there, it's slightly raised up a bit on the hot shoe adapter so it won't actually fit in. So you have this cable here, this one here. As you can see this has a flat end here and on the other side it has the metal lines. So the way it goes in is the flat end needs to go towards the screen side of the flash. So that flat end goes in there. It might take a while for you to, to get in exactly but this is what we're doing. We're taking this cable here. Into the adapter. And as you can see that's partly the way in. So we just need to push that in further. And there we go. That is the cable connected. Then all you have to do is put the mount on. And as you can see there, that mounts correctly. Get the screws. Screw them back in. There we go, we have the broken one here, which has been replaced with this new one, which has got the metal mount. Now what we're going to do is get the battery and put that back in. And you'll see the flash comes on. Test. That's working fine. Now the main thing, what we need to do, is to get the camera. Put it on the hot shoe, just like so. Now, let's test it. So here we go. There we go, spot on. So now this flash has the metal hot shoe mount, which is absolutely amazing because the plastic one seemed a bit flimsy. So hopefully this will last longer and we'll see how it goes. And there, that's super easy. That's how you change a hot shoe mount on your Godox V1 flash. This one's a Sony, but like I said, works with all cameras. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, let me know in the comments if this solved your issue. Until next time, see ya.